The trust placed by countries in other nations' space agencies is a testament to the reliability, capability, and technical expertise of those agencies. The Indian Space Research Organization is one such agency that has earned the trust and respect of many countries around the world. Over the years, ISRO has successfully completed several complex space missions, including satellite launches, planetary explorations, and lunar missions, which have demonstrated its technical capabilities and expertise. As a result, ISRO has been involved in numerous international collaborations and partnerships, working alongside other space agencies, such as NASA and the European Space Agency on various space missions. For example, ISRO provided critical support to NASA's Mars mission by providing deep space communication support, and ISRO's ground station at Mauritius provided support to ESA's Mars Express mission. ISRO's impressive track record of successful launches and cost-effective methods of conducting space missions has earned it a reputation as one of the world's most trustworthy space agencies. This reputation has led many countries to entrust India with launching their satellites. However, the same cannot be said for China. Today, in this video, we will examine the reasons why countries has more faith in India than in China. Why other nations distrust the Chinese space agency to launch their satellites. In recent years, China has achieved remarkable progress in space exploration demonstrating its impressive technological prowess with a series of noteworthy accomplishments. Alongside successful missions to the Moon and Mars, China has also established its own space station, called the Tiangong Space Station. Despite China's impressive achievements in space exploration, there remains a degree of skepticism among other countries when it comes to entrusting the nation's space agency with launching their satellites, particularly the Western countries. Even though some countries expressing concerns, there are several nations that maintain cordial ties with China's space agency and have opted to launch their satellites using Chinese rockets. Notably, Pakistan, Venezuela, Ethiopia, Algeria and Laos are among the countries that have forged positive relationships with China's space program. China launched 267 foreign satellites between 2000 and 2021, primarily for commercial purposes. Additionally, some nations have engaged in collaborations with China on various space-related initiatives, including climate science, satellite technology, and space exploration. For instance, France has participated in joint projects with China in these fields. However, many nations, particularly the West, are cautious of working with China on space-related operations. And the primary reasons for mistrusting China are national security, geopolitical tensions, concerns about technology transfer, and China's space ambitions, as well as potential quality control and safety issues. Given China's close links between its space program and its military activities, countries fear that collaborating with China on space-related initiatives could result in the sharing of sensitive technology and information that could potentially be turned against Western nations. This is particularly in critical areas, such as national security and defense. China's rapid expansion in space and development of anti-satellite weapons, as well as plans to establish a military presence in space, have raised concerns among Western countries regarding the potential threat to their space infrastructure and global security. Although China's space program has made strides in recent years, the country has faced numerous safety concerns and high-profile accidents, leading to doubts about its ability to conduct space activities safely and reliably. An example is the Long March 5B rocket incident in May 2021, which underwent an uncontrolled re-entry and crashed into the Indian Ocean, while carrying the core module for China's space station. The level of transparency in China's space program differs from that of the Indian space program. While India's space program is known for its high degree of transparency, especially in terms of sharing information with the public about its missions and achievements, there have been reports of foreign nations accusing China of spying on their satellites after China launched them into orbit. 
In 2011, the United States accused China of using a satellite to track a US spy satellite in orbit, and in 2013, India accused China of hacking into its satellite ground station to monitor its activities. These incidents have raised concerns about the potential militarization and weaponization of space, as well as the need for increased transparency and regulation in space activities. The concerns about technology transfer are rooted in fears that collaboration with China could lead to the transfer of sensitive technologies and information that could be used for military or other malicious purposes. NASA researchers are not allowed to collaborate with Chinese state enterprises or entities due to security concerns. The US Congress passed legislation prohibiting NASA from using its funds to host Chinese visitors at its facilities, and Chinese nationals are barred from entering NASA facilities unless they have obtained a waiver from NASA. The roots of the U.S. exclusion policy can be traced back to a congressional investigation in 1998, which revealed that American companies had provided China with technical information for its satellite. This information allegedly aided in the development of China's intercontinental ballistic missile technology, which raised concerns about the potential misuse of dual-use space technology by China for military purposes. As a result of these concerns, the US imposed an embargo on space cooperation with China throughout the 2000s, which limited opportunities for collaboration between the two countries on space-related activities. While some restrictions have been eased in recent years, concerns about technology transfer and national security continue to be a major obstacle to deeper cooperation between the US and China in space. The differences between the launch services of China and India are mainly due to differences in their launch vehicles and launch capabilities. China has developed a range of launch vehicles, including the Long March series, which are capable of launching heavier payloads into orbit. These launch vehicles are generally considered to be more powerful than those of India and are therefore able to launch larger and more complex satellites. On the other hand, India has developed a smaller range of launch vehicles, including the Polar Satellite Launch Vehicle PSLV, and the Geosynchronous Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV. These launch vehicles are generally considered to be less powerful than those of China, and are therefore limited in their ability to launch heavier payloads. However, India has been able to offer cost-effective launch services by focusing on developing low-cost launch vehicles and streamlining its launch operations. The PSLV, in particular, has been widely used for launching small and medium-sized satellites and has a reputation for being a reliable and cost-effective launch vehicle. In contrast, China's focus has been on developing more powerful launch vehicles which are generally more expensive to produce and operate. This has made its launch services less cost-effective than those of India, especially for smaller and medium-sized satellites. Unlike China, India has not faced the same concerns about technology transfer or geopolitical tensions that have made some countries wary of working with Chinese companies. However, ISRO has faced sanctions, and the United States is the sole country that sanctioned ISRO for parts of its space program. And some other countries, such as Canada and Japan, also restricted certain types of high-tech exports to India, including those related to space technology. In May 1992, the US government had put sanctions on ISRO, preventing Russia from sharing cryogenic engine technology with the Indian Space Agency to check India from making missiles. As a result, Russia withdrew from a deal with ISRO, prompting ISRO to launch its own cryogenic upper stage project in April 1994 and develop its own cryogenic stage. The development of this technology was a significant achievement for ISRO, as cryogenic rocket technology is complex and difficult to master. After this success, the sanctions were eventually lifted in 2011. 
Since then, the relationship between the Indian and US space agencies has improved significantly, and the two countries have collaborated on a number of space projects. One such project is the Nisar satellite. India's space program is widely praised for its transparency and commitment to international standards, which has earned it the trust of many foreign partners. For example, military satellites are sensitive technology, and many countries are hesitant to trust other countries' space agencies with the launch of their military satellites. This is because military satellites often carry critical information and technology that is of great strategic importance. However, Israel's military reconnaissance satellite, called the TechSAR-1, or OFEC-8, was launched by the Indian Space Research Organization on January 21, 2008, by its PSLVC-10 launch vehicle. For Israel, launching TechSAR-1 on board the Indian PSLV rocket was a cost-effective option. The PSLV rocket is known for its reliability and has been used for many successful space missions. Additionally, Israel did not have its own satellite launch capabilities at the time, so it made sense for them to partner with India for the launch. India has launched several satellites with military applications for various countries, including the XSAT microsatellite for Singapore. It is primarily used for Earth observation and maritime surveillance. For Canada, the Maritime Monitoring and Messaging microsatellite M3MSAT is a tele-detection satellite developed by the Canadian Space Agency and launched by ISRO in 2016. The XSAT microsatellite and M3MSAT are just two examples of the many satellites having military applications that India has launched for other nations. Moreover, India has demonstrated a strong commitment to safety and quality control in its space program, which has helped it to build confidence among potential customers. In addition to its technical capabilities, India also offers competitive pricing for its launch services, making it an attractive option for countries looking to save costs while still accessing high-quality space services. And this combination of reliability, safety, and affordability has made India a popular choice for international partnerships in the space industry. India's commercial satellite launch service has traversed the globe, providing its services to a diverse range of countries. From the European nations of Germany, France, UK, Belgium, Italy, Austria, and Denmark, to the West Asian countries of UAE, Kazakhstan, Turkey, and Algeria, India has left no stone unturned. It has also extended its reach to Southeast Asian states, such as Japan, South Korea, Singapore, and Indonesia, and North American nations like the USA and Canada. Over the years, ISRO has gained an impeccable reputation globally, and it is interesting to note that even countries that can launch their own satellites like the USA, Japan, France and Israel are opting for ISRO's launcher. India's prowess in the field of commercial satellite launch services has truly gone beyond borders, 